少林功夫跟其他，呃，武术的不一样的区别在于，它还它是一个佛教佛教圣地，有信仰的地方。In Chinese folklore, it is said that all martial arts under heaven originated from the Shaolin Temple. It is also said that Shaolin Kung Fu is the best under heaven. While there are records of martial arts in China before the formation of the Shaolin Temple, Shaolin Kung Fu's 1,500-year history has deeply influenced martial arts throughout Asia. The semi-legendary figure Bodhidharma is credited with bringing Chan Buddhism to the Shaolin Temple around 527 A.D. Referred to as Damo in Chinese, he is credited as being the first patriarch of Shaolin. It is somewhat unclear from where Bodhidharma came. He traveled from the west, likely from southern India or possibly from Persia. He was reportedly ill-tempered and, interestingly, is referred to as the blue-eyed barbarian. Bodhidharma taught the monks Chan Buddhism, which seeks enlightenment primarily through seated meditation. It is important to note that Chan made its way throughout Asia and is the origin of Japanese Zen Buddhism. When he noticed how the unfit monks would grow tired and fall asleep during meditation, he taught them exercises to strengthen their bodies and invigorate them for their Buddhist practice. According to legend, these exercises became the basis for what became Shaolin martial arts. While there is some evidence that a few early monks. Were former military men who brought their fighting skills with them. The influence of Buddhist philosophy took the evolution of kung fu into a direction beyond militaristic combat. Shaolin martial arts do not simply develop physical skills, but seek to aid in the spiritual enlightenment of its practitioners. There are dozens of unique styles of kung fu, many of which take inspiration from the movements of animals. The pure athleticism, agility, and grace of the Shaolin monks is truly beautiful to watch. Their skills can almost appear superhuman. They develop these skills through extreme discipline, which the monks gain by keeping their mind completely in the present moment. Mindfulness of the present moment is the essence of Buddhist practice. The Buddha taught that life is inherently suffering. Human beings uniquely suffer because we can experience fear and anxiety of the future, and we can regret the past. One can only transcend that suffering through direct experience of the present. So the monks of Shaolin are able to transcend the hardship of their physical training by practicing mindfulness throughout their practice. In this way, kung fu practice is a moving meditation. Shaolin's tenets of discipline, respect for the self and others, patience, and humility. Provide a framework for the development of both kung fu mastery and also enlightenment. Rather than trying to simply collect a breadth of many different experiences, Buddhist practitioners seek to experience each moment as deeply as possible. Because life is only the present moment, happiness can only be truly experienced in the here and now. And so, the practice of Shaolin kung fu is an outward expression of enlightenment and joy. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. If you'd like to learn more about martial arts, please visit JulianaHolmesMartialArts.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.